What's up everybody, it's Fuzzy, and I am here, and we're going to do a reaction on, we're going to do a reaction on, um, Mr. Mysterious YouTube channel, and this is five, five secrets, see, yeah, five, five places, five, Okay, five something that can't be explained. I'm sorry. My reading is terrible. He'll say it in this. Um, we're going to actually watch the whole video. Uh, we're, we're going to uh, check out some of this stuff. So here's my reaction to Mr. Mysterious Five Mysterious Things. Here we go. Five places science can't explain. Five places science can't explain. If there's anything we know about our world, it's that it's filled with all sorts of natural wonders. And that's true, and that's one of the reasons why I really don't like getting into the whole science thing. Because they want to believe in evolution and all that. And this is something I really can't believe in. And now science can't explain stuff. And they're going to say, well, what could have caused it? But anyways, let's get to it. Places so beautiful that they seem almost otherworldly. Magical, really. As if they came straight out of a fairy tale land. Ooh. But it's not all rainbows and sunshine, you know. Yeah. As there are also some places out there that you wouldn't exactly call magical. Yeah. When yeah. it comes to these strange and bizarre places that, that more true. often than not reveal the most horrifying stories. Yeah. The first instinct is to rely on some scientific explanation. But what if there isn't any? He's got a point. What if there isn't any scientific explanation? Then what? Do we say... Well, we can prove there's not this, but we can't prove this, you know? Science is, um... Science is this one thing I'm really not big on because they try telling me what exists and what don't exist and I beg to differ on what I believe in and what everyone else believes in you know anyways let's get into it what if there are some places in this world that even the brightest of minds fail to understand and today I'll be guiding another thing is I'm just gonna say you always gotta think outside the box always gotta think out of it so let's get to it you through five real places that science simply can't explain. Number five, Shanae Tempishka, the Boiling River. You've probably heard on rainforest being home to some of the world's plants and endangered. What you didn't better known as the Boiling and boy, did it deserve that this river is so hot that any animal instantly gets boiled alive. And if you want to go into specific, so I wonder. Well, well, I don't know if it's hot enough to boil a human, but it's hot enough to boil an animal. That's something right there. I wonder what that is. Volcano or something. I'm guessing, but I don't think there's really volcanoes. In the I to imagine a health creature who is just trying to swim back to safety. The water is, which in turn leads to the poor inside out, mm. with its eyes melting. Now mm. that's quite a horrifying thing to imagine. Yeah, it is. The Shanae Tempishka, which translates to boiled with the heat of the sun can get as hot as 91 degrees Celsius, 196 degrees and scientists don't even have a clue why it's high temperature. After all, it's not like there are any volcanoes nearby, as the closest one is 700 kilometers away from the river. For everything, that's all we'll say. One explanation is that the hot water stems from crap. If this Boiling River a pretty unique show thermal. But until then, we are left with more boiled alive. Yeah. Not to mention about the large group of Spanish 
explored as to what happened to this group. Let's just say it. Thanks to the boy stop. The bowling. They don't even know why it's doing that. And, um. The scientists are sitting there trying to say. They can't, they, they can't explain it. You know, I don't really believe the whole science thing, but, you know, there's some things out there that do need to be scientifically proven, and there's some things you just gotta go on your natural instinct and believe in, you know? I will stop saying you know, because that's gonna get boring after a while, but let's get into number four. Own lights. As far as strange lights appearing in the sky are concerned, it doesn't get any more interesting than the lights in the Hestalen Valley, far off in the Norwegian wilderness. Not only do these lights appear in the sky, but they also dance around in the most curious patterns. Sometimes, they even flash in different colors. It goes with scientists. But it's what's day. There are the first theory obviously has to do with UFOs, because what theory involving the lights in the sky doesn't? After all, the Hestalen lights are quite well known for splitting into smaller lights and moving across the sky. So it doesn't come as a complete surprise that people would think the lights are just UFOs flying across the Norwegian sky. The other theories offer a different, far more scientific approach. One explanation is that the Hestalen Valley radioactive which is the residence okay. this task with radon attaches itself to dust particles the lights would then be the result of radon decaying in the atmosphere some scientists know. even think that the whole valley is just an enormous sea cell battery because the walls of the valley are rich in copper and zinc well, which is essentially what batteries are composed of number three Number four threw me off there for a minute. Only reason why I would say it threw me off there for a minute was the fact of it saying scientists have their theories about it, but they can't explain it. And all I'm going to say is, you know, God, he created all these planets out there and they said UFOs. And they said UFOs. So, um, and they said UFOs and you can't really, um, you can't really say God created all them planets without our life being on them. And that's all I want to say. It makes me sound crazy. Whatever. I don't care. And I guess someone's going to have never put on Facebook since they're going to call me during and making a video. That's on them. Not on me. Number three. The Devil's Kettle. When you, you think, think of the mysterious and intriguing thing, Minnesota probably isn't the first place that comes to mind. But once you hear about the place that goes by the name Devil's Kettle, located in Judge C.R. Magney State Park in Minnesota, I'm fairly certain that the Devil's Kettle is pretty much the only Galuth is famous. With that said, surprising as it may sound, it's actually a water. Waterfall, in mysterious waterfall, but less special. Let's just say that there are two on east side that flows quite normally, and besides being beautiful, there's nothing really special about it. Acting up. I don't know. But it's the West side, why you ask? As any other water would normally do. It did. What? Yep, you heard it right. The water just falls roughly 10 feet before it disappears. How many times it would just flow through an extremely complex system of un and it would pop out eventually
probably some pouring colored dye into the water, and they dumped it in ping pong balls. That's the case. Kind of a portal to another dimension. Yeah. Number two. Okay. The devil was weird. The devil. The devil's kettle. I think they call it. Okay. That one is weird because, dude, it's just a waterfall. It's really going nowhere. That's. That's weird, man. There's some strange shit on this earth, man. And I'll tell you right now, that's wow. That's that's the weirdest so far I have seen on this um, YouTube channel. Um, well, all I have to say is, uh, never go kayaking near that waterfall. All right, number two, guys. The Siberian crater. Remember how I was talking about the places with the horrifying stories behind them? Well, a certain rock formation in Siberia is one of those places. Although it hasn't been brought to the attention until the late 1940s, local population place for much longer. About this crater that is also called Fire Eagle, people have reported. The exhibition, an urban legend, it was a certain insect leader of a crater expedition five, which finally could crater. Some people rejected by geologists this claim that a UFO land causing a crater to form. Okay. The tri triangle. Okay. Now, that one's also weird. And not as weird as the other one we just watched with the waterfall. But someone had a heart attack in 2005 and it wasn't a meteor. And people saying UFOs. What do you guys think on number two? Um, number two is kind of kind of weird. Well, they're all kind of weird, but number two kind of has someone almost uh, yeah someone almost die. It didn't say they died. I'm so I'm guessing they almost died. It said they had a heart attack. Yeah, that's some uh some freaky sh stuff right there, man. Some freaky shit. Either way. I want to see a mute or trying to be heard, and I'm sorry about the YouTube stuff acting like it is. I don't, I don't, don't really get that. And I'm sorry for someone calling during it. You know, they, they know better than to call me after I'm done with my daily duties. Anyways, anyways, let's get to it. What better way to finish off our list than with the good old Bermuda Triangle, probably the most mysterious place of them all. I bet you all heard stories about aircraft and ships disappearing in this so-called triangle between Bermuda, Florida, and Puerto Rico, popularly called the Bermuda Triangle. And however hard the U.S. Navy is trying to deny its existence, it changed the fact that many ships did indeed vanish in this area. Always, scientists are concerned about what made these disappearances. Some kind of magnetic anomaly involved. I firmly believe that the disappearances are connected to Atlantis, the sunken city, which they believe lies deep beneath this area. But what do you think? Which one of these mysteries is the most fascinating? And what about the scientists? Do you think they will ever be any closer to finding a proper explanation for these anomalies? Oh, in the comments. And remember, Curious. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and push that notification bell because you don't want to miss what's coming next. Yeah, guys, please go subscribe to uh, Mr. Mysterious. He's got a real good YouTube channel and he hasn't really been posting a lot. Um, that was top five places science can't explain. I will say the uh, Bermuda Triangle is um. 
pretty weird. That, that that's been going on for forever. But uh, the Bowling River, uh, that was also weird. The lights. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's extraterrestrial? You guys think it's like a wrath of God? Are you thinking there is some kind of scientific explanation for it that will be explained for it one day? Um, me, my opinion is, and it's just a conversation. My opinion is on it. I think God created all this stuff for a reason. And there's reasons why we have not discovered it yet. Um, the crater, uh, could have been aliens. What, what, what could it have been? I mean, I don't know. Paranormal stuff, demons. I, I, I don't know what, what, what's going to make someone just have a heart attack when you go into a crater and the devil's uh, canyon. That's the weirdest one out all of them to me though, because the water goes nowhere. It's this goes down and to nothing um but yeah guys i do hope you enjoyed the video go subscribe to uh mr mysterious great youtube channel subscribe to my channel as well and i'll do some more reaction videos on this later on all right guys love you and peace